When I was seven, I wanted to be an actor and pursue my goal. When I was 11, a casting director told me that I couldn't carry my own show, and I'm sure you've all been told that you don't have what it takes, that you might not be good enough, or that you don't have enough people to behind you. You're being told all of this, and deep down, all you want to do is be a part of something amazing. You want to create something fantastic that does more than just knock the wind out of you. It kills you when others attempt to convince you that you're not good enough, and it almost did for me. But my mother was stronger than ever, and she told me that the most important thing is to always believe in myself if I'm doing something because I enjoy it. I should do it because I enjoy it and feel I can succeed. So she encouraged me to keep going. She instructed me and taught me to turn the other cheek, let critics be critics, and simply trust ourselves. So, two years later, I have my own program, and my initial thought was not, oh man, that girl when I was 11 said I wouldn't carry my own show, which I did. I mean, I considered it briefly, but then I remembered what my mother had said. My mom said, you have to trust yourself, and I knew. If I didn't feel I could accomplish it, I wouldn't be here, and I consider myself quite fortunate. I have so much to be grateful for, and many of you have been a tremendous inspiration to me, because I don't believe you understand it, and maybe you haven't been told enough, but you inspire me to be better, and we should encourage each other to be better. I'm surrounded by people who are supposed to guide me, and some of them have, and others haven't, they pressure me. There's so much pressure, you gotta be sexy, you gotta be cute, you gotta be nice, you gotta be all these things. And I'm sure you can all empathize since you all deal with pressure every day. I am sure it has something to do with school, job, friends, parents, and family. I know that sometimes they tell me what to wear, how to appear, what I should say, and how I should be. And until lately, I had succumbed to that pressure, losing sight of who I was and listening to other people's ideas. I attempted to change who I am because I thought others would accept me for it, but I discovered I don't know how to be anybody other than myself. The most essential thing is that we continue to learn from one another. Please remain loyal to yourself. Please be true to yourself and know that we have each other's backs. I'd be lying if I claimed I've never attempted to improve myself by giving in, because I have but I've learned from my mistakes. And of all the things I've done, it is my proudest accomplishment. I have learned from my errors. I want you to understand what it's like to figure out what kind of pals you have. You are who you surround yourself with. So I just wanted to say that I hope I can encourage each and every one of you to simply trust yourself. I was driving myself crazy with my want to love and be loved. First and foremost, there were a million things I did not want to witness. Yeah. And I'd watch them over and over again, and I'd compare, and I'd look at these individuals and be like, how do they do it? It's just all the stuff that people say, and there's nothing new. It's that you sometimes feel as if you have fear of missing out since everyone else's life appears to be perfect. And this also happens to me. I'm like, what am I not doing? I'm missing the plot here. How come everyone else is having so much fun? Then it just started getting dark. I was driving myself crazy because in all honesty, all I wanted to be was like none of you. There were accounts that were breaking me down, analyzing every aspect of my appearance, including my face, body, and choices I had made. You even know what you're talking about, and it just crushed me. So I stopped and told everyone that everything has changed. And I'm also living in a period where girls have a definite appearance. So it would cross my mind as well, you know, I do look youthful, and there's nothing I can do about it because I'm 27. But sometimes I think, well, I look like a baby, which is dumb, and I don't fit into that image, which isn't a terrible thing, and it's okay if it's what others like and appreciate. It's whatever makes you feel comfortable. But while I was off social media, I was so much happy simply being myself. How I worked was quite beneficial. There is a large part of me that did not have the opportunity to establish my individuality in a normal situation. So while I was working with Disney, it was the finest moment of my life. I had a terrific time. I have nothing but positive things to say, although it was a little more regulated. There were some things that I wasn't required to do or figure out what my sound would be. So I've been always working to improve my music because, you know, people may not think I'm the best vocalist, 
But I just worked my ass off, and I'm loving it. I enjoy writing, creating, making melodies, and expanding. And I felt that this was my opportunity to communicate what I wanted to say in that way. People look at me and see what they want to see, not a 22-year-old figuring it out as she goes. And this comes with a lot of expectations. I understand what it's like to be judged and pushed down. I understand what it's like to have other people make views about you without even realizing you're attempting to dull your existence. I understand what you're going through since I go through it every single day, but I don't let it affect me. It is quite natural for me to be sidetracked and let something to consume my thoughts and distract me from who I am. But if I did that, it would drive me insane. I'd want to stress that you are not characterized by an Instagram post, a like, or a comment that does not describe you. I want you to understand that the secret is to focus on the love and what I want you to do with every harsh comment you receive from anyone who attempts to damage you directly or on the internet is forgive them. Just forgive them because they have no idea how much love exists in the globe and in the stadium. Don't limit yourself. Because of what others anticipate, we all deserve more than we realize. And in the end, no one remembers those who hated us. Nobody recalls the remarks. They're merely background noise. And after it's finished, nothing identifies you. But consider what you leave behind and the lives you affect along the road. It's a lesson I'm still learning, but I'm glad for what I have and ready for what's next in my life. And if you only remember one thing from today, it's this. I want you to believe in yourselves because I believe in you. And you should believe in each other 